That's a big bike. New G bang. Ring, ding, 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 ding. It's the first afternoon, we're just going out for a quick look, try and get a, a sow or something for a bit of camp meat. She's got the 4570, so anything's on the menu right now. And then tomorrow we're going to get stuck into the Reds and Fallow and we'll see how we go. Smell something. Guy, this one, this one sounds better. Meow, meow. Get him. <laughs> Wait, he looks pretty bloody good. <laughs> you know I'm not much palm, but he's got a lot of wings. <laughs> <sighs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> What day is it, Stu? <laughs> Biggest palms in the world, but man, he's got cool shape. Uh, that was a sick That hunt was cool as shit. <sighs> <laughs> it was like, like 10 meters. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> With the 45, 70. <laughs> well done, bro. <laughs> I, could, like, I caught a glimpse of his tops when I was lined up, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> Here's a cracking comeback, bitches. <laughs> that is cool. That's awesome. <sighs> oh, that's a good way to start the trip. Oh, that's bright. All right, so we're just packing out now. Stu's got his fellow buck, PB with the 4570, eight meters shot. Hopefully the footage turns out all right, but she was a bit, bit in close and action packed. So anyway, we're making our way out in the dark now. We're pretty keen for a beer and a feed. I think so.
I just just had a red return my raw. So I'm just gonna tell the camera I'm just using my phone at the minute. I've got the big camera strapped to the back. Remy and I hustling to the top of this ridge. Big walk already. We're gonna see if we can find a red deer. You right there, Rem Dog? <laughs> Well, I'm really struggling to stand still, but I kind of want to wait for this fog to lift before I go any further, because I'm probably just walking past deer at this point. I'm up pretty high, and yeah, there's just fog everywhere. I can't see more than maybe 50, 60 metres at the moment, so I kind of want to wait till that lifts a little bit, just so I get a bit more visibility I can see in some of these little gullies, and yeah, hopefully get onto a red stag. So I'm still just making my way up this ridge here. The fog's just starting to clear. Got a heap of sign all through this, so I'm just having a couple of roars and hind calls. We'll see if we can get a response. So this is me roaring horn. I might give you a demo later and everyone can tell me how bad it sounds, but I've just been having a couple of roars out here. No replies yet, but I'm not hearing anything to start with, so maybe it's not just me. Remy's already killed more than me on this trip. I won't be able to show the footage, it won't be YouTube safe, but yeah, we uh, bumped this little piglet nest and Rem decided she wanted one, so. <laughs> but anyway, I mean one pig down. Well, it's finally time for the big camera to come off the pack. Hopefully the audio's okay, because the microphone's absolutely saturated, the camera's saturated, but yeah, I've just got into this spot where I can actually see into this valley. I've got a red hind and a yearling up there. No stags with her. I did have a stag roaring down below me, and I saw him in the binos for about one second. Don't know if he was a shooter or not. smelling there's a bit of fog there <sighs> yeah so I'm just calling back and forth to this red stag down below me with me with me drink bottle <laughs> How is the view though? Unreal. Done a lot of K's today. I'll probably be at 15 or 16 by the time I'm done. Which doesn't sound like a heap, but when you're up in this stuff, it's a fair bit. That is steep as shit. I was hoping 
it mellows out a little bit and doesn't get too thick. We will see. Just had some close encounters with some goats, and luckily they've uh, given me a bit of a trail to get down this face because I don't know whether you can see, but it is very dodgy. And I'm trying to do it without busting anything. Where's your daddy? <laughs> I need to get back to the car, Mr. Stag. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. That's the second red stag I've seen for the day. I actually got some good footage of that one, which was nice. The first one didn't give me any opportunity to get some footage, but... So, yeah, I responded to that roar. And he was just down this gully below me after I spooked those goats, so... Yeah. Got a little bit of footage, he's only young, I'm not worried about that. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, I think I'm going to definitely stay lower. But it's hard because if I hadn't come up I wouldn't have seen him, so it's one of those tricky ones. But I'll just see what the morning brings I reckon.
No, I think we could do better. He's got good guards on one side. I just don't think that buck's quite there yet, so I'm not too worried about him. That's a good looking buck. <laughs> that pig just walked up behind us. This is tempting, these pigs are at 420 metres. Well it's all happening this morning, so Baden shot a red stag, which I'm just going over there to give him a hand with, and Luke's also shot a chocolate fellow buck, which I'm pretty sure Stu got on camera. I'm not sure if Baden got any footage of that red stag, but he said there was another one with it, so I might try and chase that other one, the Sarvo. So bloody gonna be a big morning. I didn't see too much this morning, I saw one really good fellow buck, which I probably should have shot, but just one of those things, I was um and ah, and he ended up going into the thick stuff, so. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> Flatten him in. Yes. <laughs> hey Tony Bate, we're getting done now. We're getting positive, we'll start caping. I'm gonna go shoot that goat over there, I reckon. First Billy. Oh. <laughs> Unicorn. That is one ugly Billy. Hey Rem Dog. You don't want to eat that Rem. That stinks like shit. <laughs> Got some piglets up there for her too. Not good, she man. caught another one this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we like. Ooh, yeah. I he's cool. Be very happy. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, we're looking at him we're like, oh, is it the one from yesterday? I'm like, oh, maybe. He's pretty big. And Luke's like, yeah, seen him turn front. I was like, yep, 
shoot him anyway. Doesn't matter just, if he's on or yeah. not. But on croak, you know, just see the tops just pulling in. I'm like, no, yeah, you're dead. Yeah. It was weird though. There was three other um, young bucks up there with him. I think. Like, and we sort of saw yeah. them. We we're like, oh, yeah, that's a white one too. Yeah, we sort of looking at them. We're like, oh, it's probably just one of those. Did you see the one I should have shot? The snapping. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what the? Fuck? Why did you let that walk? Yeah. yeah. Fair enough if it's the one Levi's been chasing, but... I don't think it is. Oh, really? <laughs> it's on a different scrape. He's like, oh, no, I'm over the other hill, and I'm like, uh, oh, well. Shit. No. I know where he is. Go back tomorrow? Maybe. Baden said there's another stag down there. Yeah. So, He's I'll, s- red spiker. I'll see how big his one is, and then decide. Well, he reckons it's going to be at least 40 on the strong side. <sighs> yeah, it's got, like, the owl kick, like, hook back on one Yeah, right. Well, did you guys want to come in for that or not? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll, go over. we'll um we'll chat with the boys tonight and figure out like yeah, find out what they want to do and get out from there. Yeah, we'll chat with the boys Well done, mate. Far out. <laughs> wow. I wonder if he would have come back out of the bush or not, because he was standing here all night. Did um? Did he drop? Yeah. Just few kicks and that, but no. I had eyes on him for a bit in case he didn't get back up. Sam. No room. No the photo. <laughs> on video. <laughs> Funny looking sheep. <laughs> oh, Stu and I are heading in for our Arvo hunt. I've left Remy back at the cabin because she's absolutely wrecked. So giving her the Arvo off. But we're heading back into where Baden shot his stag this morning. He got a little bit of footage of another stag which I'll put in right now. And he looks pretty good. I want to get a better look at him and then decide if I want to shoot him. If I don't get him the Sabo, then I might chase a fellow buck I saw this morning, so we'll just see how it pans out. These stags aren't cooperating at all for us, so we've got a hind and yearling just up here on the side of the hill with a spiker with them. The stag up in the gully behind us has just been quiet since we got here. 
over to our right we've got another stag going off but he's way up in the tops haven't got eyes on him and he's too far away to get there within time so yeah i don't know what i'm going to do for the morning we're going to probably get another five ten minutes here and then walk out but yeah the morning hunt i'm not sure i don't know whether to come back here hope for this stag or go chase that fellow buck that i saw this morning so time will tell He's actually not bad. But just while the wind's dropped off, I'll quickly tell you what's going on. So we've got this stag bedded up here at 8.50 and it's too far with this wind. So we're gonna try and get in closer, have a proper evaluate on him and see if he's something I wanna take. We're just going to climb over this ridge and this stag's roaring in here. I think I'm killing Stu. <laughs> but we're making our way up. Pretty steep up here. I don't know what happened there. Two shots at 200 meters, decent rest. I don't know. I didn't have any rear support, so whether I've shot over his back or something, but and not a great shooting position where I am, but it was fairly stable and I didn't think I should have missed him there, but, and unfortunately she wasn't quite ready with the camera, so we can't actually look at the footage to see whether it was a hit or not. But normally, from my experience with other people, Reds just drop on the spot from a bullet. And yeah, he's sort of run down. I had another shot. I could see his, the back of his head and his neck. And I had another shot. And same thing, he didn't drop. He sort of run off. So. We're just going to skirt around at his level now. And we'll see if we can get back onto him. We'll see if he's down somewhere. But I'm not real confident, eh?
Well, Stu and I are making our long walk back to the car, and I'm going to check this rifle. I feel like the rifle's going to be okay, and I think all I've done is just not not had enough rear support, and as the shots happened, the back of the stocks dropped, and the barrels rised, and then it's caused a high miss. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's going to be, but I'm going to go double check this rifle to be sure, because I'm pretty bummed right now. We've done a lot of walking, and went to a lot of effort to get that stag onto that face to get into a spot for a shot. And yeah, to have it all come unstuck is pretty disheartening, but what do you do? So we'll go check this gun and I'll let you guys know how it goes. You wallowing rim. Oh God, Luke's gonna love you in the back of his car. So it's raining and I just aimed at that knot there at 200 meters and hit way over here. So that is why I missed that stag. It's over a, over a foot, that's probably about 40 centimeters to the right. So I've just done a proper zero at 200 now. One click right and we're sweet. Double rainbow. <laughs> Lovely rim. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> uh, dumb asses. What an absolute roller coaster of a trip. So I'm out again this afternoon and I was chasing that big buck that I videoed. I think it was yesterday morning that I passed up, which wouldn't have mattered anyway because my rifle was out, but that's all sorted now. But yeah, I'm on that face and the wind's real noisy. So I'm just down a little cutting here so I can talk pretty loud and hopefully the audio is okay. But the other boys are out, clean up a few pigs and goats. That was good of him to make it all the way through the blackberries. Yeah. Like a good old ball, man. Cool. First pig. That's a ball. And over here, on this face that I'm watching, there was a scrape that the big buck was on, but he's not out the Savo, not yet anyway. I've got no eyes on him. And there's a couple of pigs out there. So if anything, I'm just going to belt a pig or two just for a bit of a confidence booster with this rifle after I've checked it. And then, yeah, maybe tomorrow morning I'll get back stuck into the reds again. Alright, so it's that pig on the left there, 440 metres. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too crazy, but a bit of a confidence booster, we'll see how we go. It is no wonder I struggle to see these pigs. Look at this grass. There's Rem there. <laughs> get him, Rem. Get him. Good girl. Good girl. That's a little ball. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of a consolation prize. So I know the gun's shooting well. These ones. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, that brown one just went off. Yeah, that one was running in a more nicer pattern. Good stuff. <laughs> that last shot on the black one, that was, I was happy with that shot. That was like, I don't know, 80 meters or yeah, something off hand. Nah, that shit off. Forking the road just a little bit further this yeah. side. Yeah, it's a big clump of rack blackberries and right in the center, yeah. yeah. I'll just cruise down the street, folks. Yeah, push, 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 push. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta boost up those numbers. <laughs> it's in and it all it all links together and yeah. 
Well, it's the last day of the trip and I'm cutting it pretty fine, but Bade and I just left the car. We're walking up this paddock here to go chase that red that I missed yesterday. And as we're walking up through here, a doe to our right spooks. The wind's real bad. Just in front of us on this track, there's a buck crossing over. And we believe it's the same buck that Stu and Luke videoed on, I think day one or day two. So I put the binos up and knew straight away he was a good deer. So I wasn't gonna pass him up. And the wind was pretty dodgy. Luckily he didn't spook from us. And yeah, I just shot him at 30 meters right on first light. So I hit the uh, record on the GoPro. I'm not sure how much footage is going to be usable because the GoPros aren't real great in low light, but I could see him clear as day through the scope at 30 metres and knew he was good. So we're just about to go have our first look at him. Well, he's a pretty good consolation prize for not getting that red stag, so I'll probably come back next year and chase the reds, but I'm pretty bloody stoked with this. Just panned out awesome the way everything happened. So, Bay and I are going to get stuck into caping, get back to camp. I'm going to do some face caping and then have a pretty chill day, and I might get the bow out the Savo, so stay tuned for that footage. Man. Shoot, go on, get or don't. <laughs> <laughs> that is a long way down. Go for a stinking belly. Good shot. Shoulder or whatever. Okay, he's just come through the pipe. Oh, wow. He's big. Yep. You alright? Meh. Meh. Oh, you stink. Red casty. Pretty cool. The poor back there. So, change of plan, we were hunting pigs with the bows. Had a pretty nice boar in fairly close, but just didn't give us enough time for trying to get a shot at. But we've just seen a really nice chocolate buck up on the hill, so we're gonna go try and get giant on that.
She did not go far. Good dog, Ram. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Good dog. Hey. Good girl. Good dog. Get her. Get her, Ram. Get her. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> Loves pigs, eh? Yeah, man, I'm stoked. That's a blood trail. <laughs> that was epic, man. Buck still croaking up there. <laughs>
You got the head off that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, good. And I arrowed a sow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and then Jai and I went on this mad, like, cat and mouse hunt with these barks. Saw a real good bark way over in the back. <laughs> 